<coughs> the forecast of the IMF for Europe, given the European and global risks, is not quite as bad. But we in Europe have to uh, always make sure that we are better. We are in a relatively good situation, but there are a number of really quite unsolved uh, problems. We have exited the crisis, but we have to do a bit more and we have to really exert our pressure to make sure the member states actually implement what we have agreed. There are other factors at play at the moment. The price of oil has fallen very, very dramatically. Also, we see China's growth shrinking, the rate of growth shrinking. How do these factors play out in the prospects for the European economy? Well, the declining oil price is rather positive for the European economy. However, this only is true up to a certain point. So the oil price has now declined by 70, 80 percent, and uh, this actually may lead to a unplanable scenario because there are some situation scenarios they, that may arise out of this, and I would like to see more stability. As regards China, well, we've always been saying if China were not going to have a two-digit growth, but if they were to have a sustainable but a stable growth, also encompassing and embracing ecological factors. So basically, a Chinese growth figure of, let's say, 7% doesn't really it concerns me too much. Uh, we really have to adapt to that. That to the fact that uh, China no longer has two-digit figure uh, growth uh, and indeed uh, sometimes uh, the dependency on Chinese uh, on the Chinese economy was just too big and uh, it cannot possibly be good or realistic if you have too much growth in one country and indeed what the Americans have, have also seen is that uh, they have actually downgraded their economic uh, prospect vis-a-vis uh, -vis the uh, oil price uh, decline but I think we are strong enough in order to uh, cope with that.